What is going on guys, so this is just a quick update on the card. So basically to customize the RGB lighting, you don't use AuraSync, you actually use Armory Crate, which is on the ASUS website. You download the program, install it, and then it's pretty simple to uh, change it. And I finally got it to match with the rest of my rig blue, uh, as you can see. So as for what I say about the 3090, um, obviously this is not really a purchase that I needed to make because I already had a 3080. But I just wanted to try the latest and greatest and share the results with you guys. <clears throat> and overall, what can I say? Is the temperatures are great. Uh, under a full overclock load with a game running for about 5 minutes. The highest I saw the temperatures get to were 7 degrees Celsius. And at stock settings uh, with the fan profile set in performance mode, the low temperatures were anywhere from between 63 degrees, 63 degrees Celsius up to uh, 65 degrees celsius so yeah what can i say it's a great card it's currently the top of the line card and it's very quiet runs cool yeah it doesn't have full rgb that goes along alongside the entire card which i would like but uh overall it's a cool card so that's all i can say just want to quickly update with you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh stay tuned for more videos and if you have any future requests on running this card let me know and I'll be happy to uh, make another video. So thanks for watching. And uh, overall, what can I say? 3090, is it worth the value? No, but there is a noticeable increase in frames per second, at least from uh, my standpoint. And also benchmarks, uh, almost hitting 20,000 in time spy, which is a pretty uh, good result overall. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. Lose WX signing out.